Hello everyone and welcome back to Webtoon Rant. Today I've got Return of the Blossoming Blade. I know it's been a while since I've last uploaded, so I'm returning with one of my favorite webtoons ever. And it is a very, very interesting, very, very good webtoon. And it has actually uh, recently have received a lot of OSTs and a lot of animations from YouTube. So if you want to search that up and check that out, uh, I'll leave some links in the description. Well, let's get straight into it. Changmyung is the Blossoming Blade, the greatest swordsman ever lived. He comes from the Mount Hua sect, who are famous for their swordsmanship, which, when swung, reveals plum blossoms. However, Chumma, or the Sky Demon of the Demon Link Cult, destroys the destroys Hua Mountain. However, Changmyung manages to stop him with the price of his life, and that is in the prologue. All that remains here now is death. And for what? Why was so much bloodshed necessary? Brother Changmun, my friends, my junior disciples, they are all dead. An alliance of sects was formed comprised of the best of the best for a final stand against Chumma. More than 20 sects came together, including the 10 great sects. In the end, the clash between the alliance and Chumma resulted in total annihilation on both sides. Why did this come to be? It was all because of him. A demon who descended from the heavens. The leader of the fiends who drenched the earth and blood. The leader or the demonic cult. Chumma. And basically, because of this big alliance fight, Mount Hua was the one who received almost irreparable damage. And with his last breath, Chumma, or uh, Cheng Myung, I mean, sorry, our lovely main character, uses the last of his strength to cut off his head in this beautifully drawn scene. Swing, and he wins. However, and then he dies, worrying about the fate of his lovely sect, the Up Mount Hua. Then he wakes up a hundred years later as a beggar. And apparently now, Hua Mountain is in complete ruins. And he is extremely surprised. Apparently, the other 10 great sects had abandoned Mount Hua after the war, using them like a shield, like, like some kind of replaceable dummy. They had sacrificed Mount Hua. Mount Hua had protected the peace of the world by fighting against Chumma and defeating him. By the way, Chumma directly translates to Sky Demon, just a little thing. And Chung Myung, not to be confused with Chumma, is the name of the main character. And basically, what happened was Mount Hua was used as the, per the, the striking sword, the guys that actually did the most to take out these bad guys, and they sacrificed their entire everything to defeat them, but the other sects, after they say after Mount Hua saved the world, abandoned them, left them alone, left them to rot and die. And it's now in ruins. However, lucky for them, Cheng Myung, the greatest swordsman to ever live, the blossoming blade, has returned to to Hua, to Mount Hua. And his mission is to bring back Mount Hua to its formal glory. And this story, this entire story, is about our lovely main character, Cheng Myung, returning to Mount Hua and bringing it back to its former glory, teaching its disciples the, the original martial arts and the sword art that Mount Hua was so well known for. And that's it. That's the story. So I will show you a couple scenes while talking about a couple things. So it is a perfect balance of humor and action. Look at this. Keep your jaw clenched. What? Puh, huh? Boom. Da -dum. Beat that attitude out of me. That's my line, you idiots. Ah! See your brother, Jun Young. I said a massage, not a tickle fight. You're lucky that I'm letting you get away with just a shoulder rub. Of course, Junior brother. Sir, I'll do my best. <laughs> I don't know how hard I laughed a lot the first time I read this. It is such a funny, like, just like this weird humor thing that the author does. And I think that's really, really good. And there's a perfect balance of this and one of the best action I've seen from Webtoons ever. And it's very, very poetic. Let me read you out this scene. 
All martial arts sects in the realm of ultimately aim to become one with an aspect of nature and express the righteous path through their physical bodies. Wudang follows yin and yang, Dianchang follows the sun, Gongdong follows the five elements, whereas Mount Hua follows plum blossoms. Nothing but plum blossoms. Does this sect Mount Hua apart from the other sects? Many thought Mount Hua was closer to a worldly sect than a Taoist sect, jeering that it was merely preoccupied with flashy, beautiful styles. However, there's something I only realized after spending a lifetime with Mount Hua's sore styles and reaching a hitherto unseen level of mastery. To put into words, I learned that the sword of Mount Hua does not seek to express plum blossoms, nor imitate them in any superficial way. The sword of Mount Hua creates plum blossoms. True to the word blossom, it allows plum blossoms to manifest in reality. The motif of plum blossoms was simply adopted as they bloom and cover Mount Hua each year. In truth, the goal of Mount Hua is to create new light from the tip of a sword, regardless of which flower it might become. The disciple of Mount Hua is able to create plum blossoms from the blossom sword arc style, the 24 strike plum blossom style, and even the 7 blossom blade style. That is the true intent of Mount Hua sword style. This is the resolve that must be closely held at heart by those who carry on the name of Mount Hua. However, those who are enamored by the outer beauty of the plum blossoms or the swiftness of the sword strokes will never be able to reach the true pinnacle of Mantua swordsmanship. Instead, they will be trapped in a quicksand of superficial splendor, just like Kim Ryong Jin. Watch closely, disciples of Chong Nam. Watch how your sword is broken. Your defeat today and my hand will be branded in your minds for an eternity. You will remember this moment each time you swing a sword and unknowingly seek to imitate this form when you train. Ultimately, your idea of true prowess will never rise above the memory of my swordsmanship. It will become a shackle that binds you forever and punish you for your disrespect in the best possible way. Even when we are betrayed by trusted allies, robbed of sword styles that are central to our sect, and invaded by our arch nemesis in our sacred mountains, Mount Hua will always endure. It must, after all. What is the universe but an eternal cycle of birth, death, and rebirth? These fluttering blossoms embody the righteous path that Mount Hua's forebears sought to reach. This is my way of atoning for my failure to ensure that the sect continued upon the path after my death. Bear witness, disciples of Mount Hua. This is your lost legacy, and the level you must aspire to reach one day. Plum Blossom Cleave. My sword becomes a pillar that creates a palisade. The palisade eventually scatters and individual pillars once more, which soar above the rising gale in a rampage becoming an unstoppable hurricane. This is the sword of Mount Hua. So, this is Mount Hua's true style. How beautiful, indeed. How can it be so different? Why wasn't my sword able to achieve such a striking beauty? Why? That is the chilling, the pinnacle of the return of the blossoming blade. It is very humorous, and it is basically about this OP character breaking it. However, there's this innate poetry and philosophy about tradition, about about you know becoming a master of the blade. And it's really, really good. It has awesome pacing, it has great plot, and it has also very good complex characterization. Like, the main character is twisted. Like, he's seen wars, he's killed so many people, and the only thing he's really cared about ever is becoming better at the sword, and he's not exactly a great person either. And he's very, very melancholy. And that makes him a very complex character, that makes him likable, that makes him interesting. I can't give this an S tier because I don't know how it ends and that's like how I can discern if this is an S tier or an A tier. But it is an A tier for now. I would highly recommend it. The web novel is also awesome. It is one of the most amazing webtoons I've ever read and the poetry within it is amazing. One thing that I want to talk about is in this particular scene that I have just read, uh, Chang Myung, the main character, criticizes Zhong Nam's sword style because Zhong Nam's sword style is based on protecting about the stillness. It's not about this fancy extravagance that 
Mount Fossor style uh, kind of rises too, right? So basically, he's kind of critiquing Zhongnan by saying, you've lost what made your sword yours, and that's why you're actually becoming weaker. And all you're doing is trying to follow my blade, but you don't have what it takes to truly perform the martial art of Mount Hua. One, and that, I think, also applies to Korean society. Korean society has a very Confucius mindset. We talk about self-actualization, self-discipline, and basically, it's just about becoming a better person, a more philosophically well-attuned person, attuned with nature, appeared with balance. That is Korea's true basis. However, I think recent, in the recent days, in the rise of capitalism and modern Korea, we've lost some of it. We've kept the, the competition, the, um, the will to win, the discipline, the unbreaking willpower, all that has stayed within our culture. But I think we've forgotten a lot of what made that ours, of the self-actualization, of the becoming a better person, being nice to other people. I think we've lost a lot of that. And I think, I think we've lost some of the things that made our culture truly ours and is being absorbed into this capitalist system. I'm not going to critique capitalism or anything. I think it's a good system, although it has its flaws. But I just hope that, and I think that this webtoon also critiques that. You should be able to innovate without throwing away what you have, because that's what truly makes you you. That's our identity as our culture. And that's what Chung Myung reminds this guy truly what it is. And I think that is an amazing metaphor. So I would highly recommend this. A tier very easily. And yeah, have a great day. Like always, Webtoon Rand. Have a great day. See you next time.